Hello everyone, my name is Anna Kalavecchio. While I wish we could all be together in the auditorium, it is my pleasure as this year's president of the National Honor Society at Thomason High School to welcome you to our virtual honors night. One of the NHS missions is to create enthusiasm for scholarship, and we hope to encourage that enthusiasm by recognizing students for their academic achievements. These students are to be congratulated for their accomplishments that they have achieved through their continuous hard work and determination. At this time, I would like to introduce Mackenzie Fairfax, a PHS junior who will sing our national anthem. Principal of Thompson High School, Mr. Perucci. Good evening, and welcome to Thompson High School's second annual, and I hope the last, uh, awards honors presentation. Okay, so without further ado, let's move right on to the presentation of awards. For ninth grade, Valia Russman, honors English. Alba Paprici, Honors English. Valia Rustman, Honors Global Studies. Alba Paprici, Honors Global Studies. Claire Saunders, Honors Geometry. Landon Galpin, Honors Geometry. Valia Rustman, Honors Biology. Albert Paprici, Honors Biology. Our 10th grade award winners, Sophia Hires, English 10. Kylie Decker, English 10. Marissa Van Ormer, World Backgrounds. Daniel Guerrero, World Backgrounds. Delaney Jones, Precalculus. Morgan LeClaire, Geometry. Daniel Guerrero, Advanced Algebra. Daniel Guerrero, Chemistry. Zachary Maxfield, Chemistry. Our 11th grade award winners, Zachary Stevenson. Yukon ECE English. Mel Screppy, Yukon ECE English. Kristen Fole, Yukon ECE US History. Mel Screppy, Yukon ECE US History. Connor Riley, AP Statistics and Pre-Calculus. Ashley Engel, Pre-Calculus. Zachary Stevenson, UConn ECE Physics. 
Kaya Johnson, UConn ECE Biology. Our 12th grade award winners, Patrick Riley, UConn ECE English. Rachel Fole, UConn ECE English. Durham Balika, American Government. Patrick Riley, American and World Citizenship. Elizabeth Marble, AP Statistics. Anna Calavecchio, AP Statistics. Elizabeth Marble, UConn ECE Physics. Kirsten Sundell, UConn ECE Biology. Rachel Full, AP Psychology. For Art, ninth grade, Olivia Blasco, Art 2. Ninth grade, Valia Rustin, Art 2. Tenth grade, Natalie Walker, Art 2. 10th grade, Samantha Graver, Art 3. 11th grade, Samantha Verdosi, Art 2. 11th grade, Alexa Pappas, Art 3. 12th grade, Kirsten Sundell, Art 4. 12th grade, Alyssa Brostek, Art 4. Business Awards, 9th grade, Valia Russman, Introduction to Information Technology. 9th grade, Claire Saunders, Introduction to Information Technology. 10th grade, Daniel Guerrero, Personal Finance. 11th grade, Emma Sanson, Accounting. 12th grade, Alyssa Zakachevnoy, Personal Finance. 12th grade, Patrick Riley, Accounting. In the Digital Media Arts, 9th grade, Olivia Blasco, Digital Arts. 9th grade, Haley Bethan, Digital Arts. 10th grade, Kira Finer, Desktop Publishing. 10th grade, Connor Miller, Digital Media. 10th grade, Morgan LeClaire, Digital Media. 11th grade, Enyo Doughty, Desktop Publishing. 11th grade, Connor Riley, Advanced Digital Media. 11th grade, Tyler Sinnott, Advanced Digital Media. 11th grade, Brandon Salietti, Digital Media. 11th grade, Leah Lachance, Digital Media. Twelfth grade, Brianna McClett, Advanced Digital Media. Twelfth grade, Megan Desmaris, Advanced Digital Media. Twelfth grade, Abigail Lasco, Desktop Publishing. Twelfth grade, Chad Suckley, Desktop Publishing. Twelfth grade, Nathan Scarola, Digital Media. 12th grade, Keegan Daigle, Digital Arts. In Family and Consumer Science, 9th grade, Hillel Kurek, Food and Nutrition. 9th grade, Claire Saunders, Food and Nutrition. 10th grade, Anya Zielinski, Child Development. 10th grade, 
Julia Snyder, Culinary Arts. 11th grade, Aurelia Barker, Culinary Arts. 11th grade, Hannah Waller, Child Development. 12th grade, Ryan Bethan, Culinary Arts. 12th grade, Rachel Fole, Culinary Arts. In music, 9th grade, Alba Pabrici, Band. 9th grade, Sierra O'Sullivan, Band. 10th grade, Emma Marble, Chorus. 10th grade, Marissa Van Ormer, Chorus. 11th grade, Brandon Salvietti, Band. 11th grade, Ashley Angle, Chorus. 12th grade, Patrick Riley, Band. In 12th grade, Kestrel Wilcox, Chorus. In PE and Health. 9th grade, Joshua D'Alessio, Physical Education. 9th grade, Isabella Brostek, Physical Education. 9th grade, Valia Russman, Health 1. 9th grade, Nicholas Jakes, Health 1. In 10th grade, Daniel Guerrero, Physical Education. 10th grade, Stevie Lynn Fox, Physical Education. Tenth grade, Kylie Decker, Health 2. Tenth grade, Daniel Sobe, Health 2. In Spanish, ninth grade, Valia Russman, Spanish 1. Ninth grade, Claire Saunders, Spanish 1. Tenth grade, Daniel Guerrero, Spanish 2. 10th grade, Evelyn Liberchu, Spanish 2. 11th grade, Mel Screpi, Spanish 3. 11th grade, Ariana Comanage, Spanish 3. 12th grade, Rachel Fole, Spanish 4. In technical education, Ninth grade, Jonathan Renalter, Woodworking. Ninth grade, Todd Labriola, Small Engines. Tenth grade, Milan Grant, Manufacturing. Tenth grade, Michael Grant, CAD. Twelfth grade, Dan Suckley, Small Engines. Twelfth grade, Anthony Mella, Woodworking. Presentation of the Special Awards. The Thomaston Fire Explorers is a program for teens aged 14 to 18 to teach basic firefighting skills and concepts as well as prepare the cadets for a career in public service and provide a place for them to grow and become assets to the community at large. Our two cadets honored tonight, Abby Lamy, and Madison Fiola Santa Maria. They are shining examples of those principles. Abby and Maddie served as lieutenant and captain respectively and continue to be strong role models and support for their fellow explorers. We are very proud of their accomplishments and look forward to working with them when they are old enough to join the ranks at the Thomaston Fire Department. The 2020-21 Community Service Awards. The Thomaston Police Explorer Program is a nonprofit organization dedicated to educating youth in the area of law enforcement, leadership, and civic responsibility. 
John Shearer has been a member of the Police Explorers for the past five years. During this time, he has had perfect attendance at all post functions. This past year was a bit different due to the pandemic. We have had weekly Zoom meetings and trainings. He has demonstrated that he is a responsible person and a team player. John holds the rank of captain with the Police Explorer program. He has attended the statewide Cadet Police Academy summer camp for the past two years. This academy simulates a paramilitary police academy environment, including strenuous academic and physical demands. John had volunteer, volunteered many hours assisting with the two food and toy drives. Congratulations, John, on a well-deserved award. Emily Mateau has been a member of the Police Explorers for the past four years. During this time, she's had perfect attendance at all post functions. This past year was a bit different due to the pandemic. We have had weekly Zoom meetings and trainings. She has, had dem she has demonstrated that she is a responsible first person and a team player. Emily holds the rank of Sergeant with the Police Explorer Program and also held the position of Quartermaster. Emily is a motivated individual of high moral character. She has attended the Statewide Cadet Police Academy summer camp for one year. This academy simulates a paramilitary police academy environment, including strenuous academic and physical demands. Emily had volunteered many hours assisting with the town food and toy drive. Emily has shown that she enjoys service to her community. Congratulations, Emily, on a well-deserved award. Noah Budras has been a member of the Police Explorers for the past five years. During this time, he has had perfect attendance at all post functions. This past year was a bit different due to the pandemic. We have had weekly Zoom meetings and training. Noah has attended the Statewide Cadet Police Academy summer camp for two years. The academy simulates a paramilitary police academy environment, including strenuous academic and physical demands. Noah has been a very dedicated member and has volunteered many hours assisting with the town food and toy drive and many other town events. Congratulations, Noah, on a well-deserved award. Nicholas Jakes has been a member of the Police Explorer Pro program for past five years. During this time, he has had, the perfect, has had perfect attendance at all post functions. This past year was a bit different due to the pandemic. We have had weekly Zoom meetings and training. Nick has demonstrated that he is a responsible person and a team player. Nick is, motiv is a motivated individual of high moral character. He has attended the Statewide Cadet Police Academy summer camp for one year. This academy stimulates a paramilitary police academy environment, including strenuous academic and physical demands. Nick had volunteered many hours assisting with the town food and toy drive. Nick has shown that he enjoys service to his community. Congratulations, Nick, on a well-deserved award. The President's Education Awards Program, established by the U.S. Department of Education, recognizes and honors outstanding educational achievement. To qualify for this highly selective award, a student must have earned a minimum 90 average or a 3.5 GPA on a scale of 4.0, and must have achieved a math or reading SAT score that falls at or above the 85th percentile. The recipients of the 2021 President's Award for Educational Excellence are Elizabeth Marble, Rachel Full, Patrick Riley, Isabella Guerrero, Anna Calvecchio, Kirsten Sundell, Ty Harkness, Ryan Beck.
Bethan and David Treglia. The American Legion Auxiliary Laurel Girl State representatives are members of the junior class who have demonstrated leadership, good academics, and an interest in government. This year's Girl State representatives are Kristen Fall and Mel Screppy. The American Legion Boys State representatives are members of the junior class chosen for leadership, character, and interest in government. This year's Boys State representatives are Zachary Stevenson and Dylan Walmsley. The Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, one of the world's finest technological universities, is proud to recognize the achievements of a junior student who has excelled in advanced math and science courses. A $15,000 per year merit scholarship is guaranteed for four years for each medalist who applies, is accepted, and chooses to enroll at Rensselaer with plans to pursue a career in science, engineering, or technology. I am pleased to award the Rensselaer Medal to Zachary Stevenson. The St. Michael's College Book Award for Academic Achievement with a Social Conscience seeks to recognize students who exhibit the characteristics of an ideal St. Michael's student. The awards are given to two juniors who are inductees into the National Honor Society and who exemplify social conscience and leadership within their community service. The recipients are Zachary Stevenson and Sandra McDonald. The SAGE Awards were created to recognize the characteristics of academic excellence and community involvement that have, have defined SAGE students for nearly a century. The Student SAGE Award certificate guarantees that these students are eligible for a scholarship of at least $5,000 per year tuition for four years of undergraduate study at the SAGE colleges. The Student SAGE Award winners are Zachary Stevenson and Sandra McDonald. Each year, the Hartford Section of the Society of Women Engineers selects two high-achieving students in the areas of science and mathematics from each participating high school to receive special recognition for their exemplary performance in these areas. Criteria for this award includes three years of exceptional skill in math and science courses, as well as positive contribution to the school and local community. We are proud to announce this year's recipients, Sandra McDonald and Zachary Stevenson. The Elmira College Key Awards are given to two juniors in recognition of high scholastic achievement leadership, citizenship, and participation in extracurricular activities. This year's recipients are Zachary Stevenson and Mel Screppy. The University of Rochester George Eastman Young Leaders Awards grants the winner $7,500 per year if they are accepted at the university. Students are chosen on the basis of outstanding achievement in leadership and academics. The recipient this year is Mel Screppy. The Smith College Book Award and Certificate is given for recognition of outstanding academic achievement and leadership. This year's recipient is Mel Screppy. The Yale Book Club Award is awarded to a junior who, in the opinion of the faculty, by reason of both spirited participation in class activities and overall scholastic achievements, demonstrates outstanding, outstanding personal character and intellectual promise. This year's recipient is Kristen Fole. 
The Harvard Book Prize is given by the Harvard Club of Southern Connecticut to the member of the junior class who combines excellence in academics with significant achievements in extracurricular activities. This year's recipient is Kristen Fall. The University of Rochester Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Excellence Award is designed to recognize a junior who has attained outstanding achievement in the humanities, social sciences, leadership, and community service. Winners of the award are automatically considered for a $7,500 scholarship per year if they are accepted to the University of Rochester. This year's humanities social science scholar is Sydney Eagleton. The University of Rochester Xerox Award for Innovations and Information Technology is awarded to a junior who demonstrates a strong interest in innovation and or information technology and a high level of achievement in the area of in coursework and achievement in the, this area in coursework and outside of school. If this student is admitted to the University of Rochester, he will be considered for a scholarship valued at no less than $7,500 per year. This recipient is Julia Caprici. The University of Rochester Bausch & Lomb Honorary Science Award is awarded to a junior in our school who has attained academic excellence in science subjects. Bausch and Lomb scholars who matriculate at the University of Rochester are eligible to receive a scholarship award of $30,000 over four years. This year's recipient is Connor Riley. The Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Award, Hobie, honors promising high school sophomores who demonstrate exceptional leadership ability and the potential to make a difference through community service. Nominees from each participating Connecticut high school attend a weekend conference designed to develop leadership skills to community service projects. We are proud to recognize our future leaders from Thomason High School, Delaney Jose and Marissa Van Orme. The Rotary Students of the Month are selected by the faculty based on six criteria, academics, leadership, scholarship, citizenship, service to school, and outstanding accomplishments. The representatives for the 2020-2021 school year are as follows. Patrick Riley, Anna Calavecchio, Elizabeth Marble, Kirsten Sundell, Elijah Dwyer, Rachel Full, Nathan Scarola, McKenna O'Sullivan, Courtney LeClaire, and Kestrel Wilcox. The following students have achieved honorable status all four quarters from their freshman year through the third quarter of their senior year. Emily Andre, Abigail Lasco, Anna Calavecchio, Brendan Feiner, Rachel Fole, Elizabeth Marble, Mackenzie McCarthy, McKenna O'Sullivan, Patrick Riley, and Kirsten Sundell. The Secretary of the State Excellence in Citizenship Award recognizes a senior student who has gone above and beyond to make a difference in their communities. This year's certificate of recognition goes to Patrick Riley.
The National Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution, Trumbull Porter Chapter, presents a DAR Good Citizen Award to a senior at each of the 13 high schools who possess and demonstrate the qualities of good citizenship, dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. This year's DAR Good Citizen is Patrick Ryder. The U.S. Marine Corps Scholastic Excellence Award is presented to a senior boy and or girl who are extremely citizens, exemplary citizens and role models for other students. The recipients are recognized for academic achievement and leadership. This year's recipient is McKenna O'Sullivan. The U.S. Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete Award is presented to a senior boy and girl who are athletes in a varsity sport and who are exemplary good citizens and role models for younger students. These students exhibit courage, poise, leadership, and self-confidence. Congratulations to Ryan Bethan and Elise Kresnowski, this year's recipients. The U.S. Marine Corps Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence recognizes a male and or female senior who are outstanding performers with the high school band as well as good citizens. In recognition of their diligence, dedication, and musical excellence, this honor is bestowed upon Patrick Ryder. Connecticut Association of Schools annually honors two outstanding seniors from each of the member schools in the state who excel in the performing or visual arts. Excelling in the performing or visual arts is of primary importance in the selection. Scholarship and leadership are also supporting criteria. This award, known as High School Arts Award, recognition program is presented to Kestrel Wilcox for performing Arts and Kirsten Sendell for Visual Arts. The Scholar Athlete Program annually recognizes two high school seniors, one boy and one girl, from each member high school whose academic and athletic careers have been exemplary, whose personal standards and achievements are a model to others, and who possess high levels of integrity self-discipline, and courage. This year's recipients are Elizabeth Marble and Ty Harkness. In bringing the celebration to a close, I'd like to thank um, Karen Keith, Mrs. Karen Keith, for preparing the program and the awards for the ceremony. I'd like to give a special thanks to Mrs. Dayton and Aurelia Barker for, pre for preparing the digital presentation um, and in general, I would love to, to uh, show some gratitude to our teachers for stepping up in what was probably the most difficult uh, year of our careers. Uh, and I'd also like to thank the parents and general community for the, the support that you've shown uh, through the crisis. With that, we close the ceremony. Have a very nice summer.